om de hand van de Faculty of Philosophy in de University of Groningen, Studio Generaal van Groningen en de Volkskrans, de drie organizing institutions. Welcome to the Law and Number Forum 2010. You here in this room, and also you over there in the offer zaal. My name is Hans Harpers, working at the Department of Philosophy, and I will moderate this meeting. As you might know, the Lovanata Forum is initiated by the Faculty of Philosophy, University of Groningen, in order to promote philosophy in the public and to stimulate public debate. That's why it was named after Lola Nauta, both qua style and qua and identity, himself a public intellectual par excellence. This year, however, the relation between the forum and its name giver is not restricted to style and identity, but also concerns the content of Nauta's work. Fifty years ago, in 1960, Nauta defended here in this building, I don't know whether it was in this room or not, it was, defended in this room his dissertation, The Mens als Vreemdeling, Human Beings as Strangers, published by Van Oorschot, Amsterdam, and as Lola once told me with great pleasure, all this in large numbers, but of course never sold by travel agencies who thought it was a kind of travel guide. Anyway, on the occasion of this publication 50 years ago, Forum, the Dutch National Institute of Multicultural Issues, organizes in the autumn of this year a multidisciplinary project with the same title, The Men's Assembly. This project including an international scientific conference here at the University of Groningen, will resume Nauta's dissertation subject, a Vreemde in het Eigen, Strangeness and Familiarity, although in a completely different context, that is, in an international, globalized, and multicultural context. Nowadays, we can no longer easily split up the world in I versus the other us versus them, the familiar versus the stranger. Since in the globalized world we are all connected. That's why we speak, for example, about universal human rights. But globalization also induces differentiation and diversity, such as the proliferation of particular national, religious or ethnic identities how to reconcile both tendencies, how to deal with unity and diversity in this global context, especially in terms of politics and democracy. It is in this context that we organized the La Forum 2010 about the politics of us and them. And we are proud and grateful that two worldwide, worldwide known public intellectuals have accepted the invitation to share their thoughts on this subject with us and with each other, Ian Burma and Tariq Ramadan. Heartily welcome both of you. Burma and Ramadan both fit in the team needed. Cosmopolitan thinkers as they are, they pass the boundaries of cultures, religions, continents, nations, regions, or whatever specific locality or belief system, not only intellectually in their publications, but also literally, they travel around the world. They personally embody, so to speak, the dialectics of familiarity and strangeness, of belonging and exclusion, of involvement and detachment. Ian Burma, for example, was born in the Netherlands, where he studied Chinese literature. He turned to Tokyo, where he was educated in Japanese cinema. He wrote many books and essays about Asia, was cultural editor of the Hong Kong-based Far Eastern Economic Review, and foreign editor of the London-based Spectator. He has been a fellow at the Wissenschaftskolleg in Berlin, where he met Lord Anauta, by the way, the Woodrow Wilson Center in Washington, 
Anthony Scott is in Oxford and Dirk Mark Institute in New York. And nowadays he's professor of democracy, human rights and journalism at the Bart College in New York, from where he writes books about such diverse subjects and regions as Occidentalism, the West in the Eyes of Its Enemies, Murder in Amsterdam, the Death of the Day of Hoff and the Limits of Tolerance, and Taming the Gods, Religion and Democracy on Three Continents, America, Asia and Europe. And meanwhile, he was rewarded with an honorary doctorate and air doctorate at our own university here in Groningen, and last but not least, with a prestigious Erasmus Prize. And Tariq Ramadan, to quote himself, is Swiss by nationality, Egyptian by memory, European by culture, universalistic by principle, Moroccan and Mauritian by adoption. End quote from his latest book, What I Believe. He studied philosophy, French literature, Arabic and Islamic studies in his native city, Geneva, and wrote a dissertation on Nietzsche. After a period as a high school teacher, he went to Egypt where he received training in classic, classic Islamic scholarship at the Al Azhar University in Cairo. Currently, Ramadan is professor of contemporary Islamic studies at Oxford University, also teaching at the Faculty of Theology at Oxford. And at the same time, he is senior research fellow at the Toshisha University, Kyoto, Japan, and also president of the European think tank, European Muslim Network in Brussels. And Ramadan is author of several books, among them Western Muslims and the Future of Islam, Islam, the West and the Challenges of Modernity, and recently, Radical Reform, Islamic Ethics and Liberation, just translated and published in Dutch as well. As may be clear from this brief biographies, both Burma and Ramadan enjoy and defend the pleasure of globalization and cosmopolitanism. But both are also well aware of the pain of these processes, the fears it generates. Fear of uncertainty, fear of the loss of identity, sometimes leading to anxiety, or even worse, to anger, racism, radicalism, and extremism. The new V Ramadan is pleading for in his manifesto with the same title doesn't come smoothly. And while changing, compromising, weaving, and dealing, Burma's pragmatic approach is only soft bullshit in the eyes of many, so many tough thinkers. Today both will speak about half an hour each about the pleasures and pains of the politics of us and them in a globalized context. First, Burma, by discussing the relation between religion and democratic politics, and then Ramadan by reconsidering the question, who actually is the stranger? After both presentations, they will get first the opportunity to react on each other's contribution. Subsequently, you, the public, are invited to join the conversation by putting questions, putting your questions, making critical remarks, and bringing in your point of view. At 5.30 sharp, we have to finish in order to make room for examinations of medical students in this room. Business as usual. And after our discussions here, there will be a sound session with Ian Burma downstairs in the hall of this building, where you can buy and let sign his books. Tariq Ramadan's books will be available as well, but unfortunately he cannot join the uh, sign session since he has to leave immediately again to skip all. But let us start. Burma, the floor is yours. <laughs>